Once again, welcome back. It's still Daybreak Africa, reaching you from studios here in Dando City. Uh, this morning, we have a very, very important and I must say interesting topic to talk about. Uh, this one, we talking about Nigerian lawmakers withdrawing a bill seeking a uh, varsity degree as minimum qualifications for both presidents and uh, governors. And of course, in the house with us, or uh, should I say via Skype, rather, uh, to do justice to this topic is a public affairs analyst, a person of Como Lab. Fair are your Bamiji. Good morning and welcome to Daybreak Africa. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, now, I think before we uh, go into the topic in details, let's have a take as to education. How do you think education tends to help a country? How do you think education tends to help a system, you know, in, uh, should I say, nation building generally? Now, in Nigeria, do we consider education a topic of interest? Because I notice while speaking, we are more like generalizing the entire situation. Uh, do you really consider uh, it a topic of interest in Nigeria, you know, considering all that is, has been happening, you know, from the budgeting and how we tend to actually uh, consider or look education in the country? Is it really a topic of interest? Generally. But when you said it should, is it actually a topic of interest? Are so you thinking it should because it's not exactly currently a topic of interest? Yeah, uh, we need, and we shouldn't be talking about it. We need to spend so much on. 
I'm going straight to the topic. I mean, Nigeria lawmakers we, uh, have stepped down as a proposed bill seeking to raise the educational qualification for key political office in the country. Now, the proposal legislation aimed at pegging minimum qualification for elections into the governorship, presidential, and other key elective offices in the country. Now, the current constitution allows candidates with a mere first school leaving certificate to contest these positions. Now, this particular news has, you know, sprung so many reactions from even uh, amongst the lawmakers. First with, I, I would like you to start with um, how you tend to see politics in Nigeria. How do you see the political sphere of Nigeria, the leadership aspect of Nigeria? How, how potent do you think they have been so far? Uh, 
Could this be used as a yardstick uh, per se to actually measure the level of intelligence we have as uh, you know in our in our, in our law making uh, body? Do you think this could be something to actually measure this intelligence level we have? You know, considering people that are willing and uh, you know at a number of fingers you really uh, turn down a request for a minimum of uh, a varsity degree holder, you know, to take an office. You know, people that are willing to just take an SSC holder. Do you think this actually uh, could be used as a yardstick to measure the intelligence we have gathered in that house? Okay, thank you. Like I mentioned earlier, education is not just only the thing required to measure intelligence, but it is just a bedrock upon which other things are. It's just the bedrock. It's just the foundation. Other things. Okay, like I cited in, uh, a, an example of this matter. Aside the additional qualifications to the fire, we still see the students asking for, okay, for high security tools, some other things to measure so how academic that is in the fire. So we have this education to just determine how we intellectual and if it is fire. Oh, we have to talk about the intelligence. Yes, talk about everything, many other things. But as high education, we need people, we need leaders who are in 
They have 10 passes. All they need to do is that. So, we cannot just say, okay, education is just, okay, if you are educated, then that means you No. They are, they are, that's not the point I'm trying to do. For science education, there are still all the things required. Intellectual wise, there are still other things required in terms of society. And that's why you see the other things required. That's the point I'm trying to do. 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 How do you say that? As some of these are going to put together in the other part. So, we are not going to do anything. 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 So, we are not going to do when uh, with the kind of uh, qualifications needed to rule the nation do you think that the constitution should be looked into probably adjusted or uh, done away with and like um, like say reconstructed totally for some time now we are talking about constitutional review, review and at some point i think a uh, few years back it was revisited that is to tell you that, okay, there is a deficit in the digital economy. We want this to work in And we can't just limit our day to day activities as a country to the constitution of uh, the, from the first of 1999 or thereabouts. Look at that time, look at that space. You see that time, you know. But that thing has people think. And we need to, and uh, we, we need our constitution to be able to get that. For some of these new realities we are facing, which is the, um, this educational coordination for public, uh, uh, for political office holders, which you mentioned, it is very, very important in this system. It is very, very important to okay, look at the How we are listening to this? In our present day, this issue has been found. That constitution, when we look at the law, when we look at the law, now, and it seems to be some people, so they are benefiting from okay, privileges that most that are not exactly the constitution, you know, accept from them, and the others of them, they feel like they are towards, okay, some of these. So when we talk about two uh, certificates, like SSE as the educational requirement from uh, as compared to the constitutional that uh, one 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 you look at the complications of the certificate of some of these people who are going to go there. The budget of the government that was removed because of the deputy. I don't have a special certificate, special admission certificate. So many of them obtained these certificates to me. So that's why some of them are strongly, they are finding a way from this point, from the same issues that are coming. So that's why constitution has been a bit difficult, a bit difficult for some of them. Okay, when we look at this, our electoral, the electoral votes are happening in the last election, we have here by the elected delegates, the elected delegates, the elected votes. You could see how it affected a lot of voters from the sunny market. So looking at that, they don't know, they don't think that at this point. So some of them go in for to make sure it's certain things that they know, will not be a plus in their previous time. They told you that we later in the future. So the constitution needs to be done. 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 
That's exactly where I'm going to. So I was going to ask if this time at which this bill has been passed is the appropriate time for this, uh, considering the fact that Nigeria's economy is um, battling so many struggles. I mean, do you think that this is actually the pr uh, correct time for this bill to be passed? It is. Let me see. There is no other time than now. It is even, uh, even getting this. For this mm -hmm. So I, I, I was taken aback when I had it was turned down. It is not over the And with this somebody that made this, this uh, uh, that is not the first time to do uh, that. First, I suggest to you, first, to do it. First, to do it. First, to do it. Because, of course, I have the first And again, for the first time, and yet, it was made the same as the first one. This is the best time. I don't think it has really had any issues. But I don't think it has any issues. I don't think it has any issues. I Yes. Yes. So, you are not a child. You know, this bill tends to actually ask the question, is leadership being thought or is it uh, uh, more like it's inbuilt? And if at all it's inbuilt, we need education to sort of uh, polish it up a little bit. Leadership is being thought and also sometimes that is why we go on. Going to super alone is not about books. They teach moral. They teach other things. I will not have this job of for the society to be the leader. So, leadership is being and being good. Yes, some people are gifted. Leaders, but also, it is made on a good position. It's being taught to gather experience for the society. So, you get it, and there is a kind of there is a space of the people. It should be of that is the And the people need to be better exposure. You tend to meet different people that share different types of different views about life to cross the life. So, you can only get it to a decision. And the people don't need to be what is the And the people follow the other things.
Uh, well, uh, well, at this point, well, some of the lawmakers uh, believe your qualification, educational qualification, uh, does not guarantee your success in the position. You know, the, the leadership quality is inbuilt, and uh, for the fact you have uh, a degree, you know, maybe first class or two one, does not really uh, mean you're going to do well. Hence, uh, SSCE or probably <laughs> less at some point, we we'll just do, uh, we we'll get the, the job done. And do you believe our statement or belief system as this is rather insensitive that statement is uh, quite insensitive it is not just enough or even on the other if it, it is not just enough it is not fair enough even for a lawmaker to mention that so it, to me it's as if the first lawmaker is literally so <laughs> Well, one of the lawmakers said uh, the the he said this not in his interest. I mean, some of them claims to be masters uh, holders and 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 things as that. Now, but the person said he actually is saying it so as not to disenfranchise uh, citizens of the country. You think that was that was too selfish? This is still very very tough. When you look at when you look at the public, okay. it's it's more like it's more like giving the ordinary man a common ground, you know, to actually contest, you know, for a better man. I understand you. I understand you. And if you are, I understand you. If you are guilty, into that aspect, how many common men we have occupying political positions? How many common men, how many of them we have there at the helm of our So, if you are talking about giving that um, a, free, a, a level playing ground for everybody to be able to, okay, let me say, to be able to come into public uh, political offices, that is not where to go. That's not even where we need to start from. The other thing we need to look is look at the amount they are selling their, their forms. If you want to, okay, okay if, you, if you are contesting for out of assembly, you know amounts of money, you need to have your account to, to, to be able to acquire a form. So is that fair to a common man? So should, why should the education, why should, now, why should we now limit educational standards because we want to give a level playing ground to everybody? Why, why, why are we not doing well? Another salient aspect of this. So to me, it is for me. It is, it is still from a selfish uh, aspect. And when we look at it, we have many educated people out there. You know what edu uh, educated um, citizens we have in the country now? You can't compare it to what we have years back. So, we, we, we need to keep improving as a country. We cannot just speak as, uh, and keep rotating around the circle and without making progress. And if we need to make progress, we need to start to Then we need Yes, then it is education for the nation needed before you can occupy a political office needs to be upgraded. Needs to be upgraded. So, normal people, you see some people, they have to be very much to ask you, okay, they don't have to be much about them, I just try your own to arrange a pattern program, a special program. Okay, what I want, then we go to so that, because we need to be for education. So, to me, this is still not a specific statement for the 
in this century that we have, this is the first century we have, for quite a long time. So, everybody is trying to get that So, at that time, we are trying to get that for the common man, you need to do this, okay, between the glory of the national hand. Let's go to the other thing. What about the common man? Oh, they are going to come into power. Then, give us a reform. He was a level to let him down. In the entire political system, they are trying to protect. So, it shouldn't education should be the work that should be the level to which just suits their own interests and supporting them or putting in it means that they are fighting for the common man. The other thing is the common man on the city they need. The other thing is they need to be able to provide. Not just to talk about going to cover political work. So, if you start from there, well, uh, from all you've said so far, is it safe to say or believe that this particular attribute is one responsible for the state of the nation? I mean to say that from all you've said so far, is it safe to say or believe that this particular attribute of uh, probably not having uh, um, educationally qualified leaders uh, is one attribute responsible for uh, the current state of the nation. Probably that's why we are not making headways the way it's expected to be. That is not, that is not our problem. Yeah. Some of our leaders, they, they lack energy. That's not, if you look at it, Yes, we'll be talking, we'll talk about upgrading the educational uh, qualification. But if you look at the most uh, uh, political, the government, the uh, House of Assembly members, if you look at a good number of them, they have some of them are professors, some of them are medical doctors, you look at our ministers, some of them are lawyers, even you know, if you look at the chamber, we have 25 people there who are educated, both home and abroad. So, if you don't say it, I think it's not as hard to be blamed. Okay, not as hard to be blamed. Maybe the right of the human being is blamed for some of the reasons. To me, as you, we we voted for the common system at some point. And that's what we voted for our election for our people. Some of our people today don't have enough knowledge. We need them. Even in the legacy, they don't have money. And that's why it's all okay for people who are there, some of the people who are trying to be poor people, so that they can never win our hearts with the attention. And they don't have any land. So most of the people who are not have money, they don't even have a conversation with the power of the people. If you can do it, you can do it. 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 So, <laughs> Many things, many things are intertwined, and we need some of all. We need to know all these things, but we don't have any information. Look at that story. It's not just that it's easy for us, but some of these people need to have people like that. We look at that, look at that, look at that. Ah, we know all of them are talking about people who are not even talking about people. So. ก็ทุกอย่างที่มาที่เกิดขึ้นอ่าที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที
Now, was it just in particular in your words you said we voted incompetent? Now, do you think this bill is a prime example of the level of incompetence and uh, uh, rascality we have in the house? Yes, it is, uh, it is most beautiful. Uh, it is most to have to think why if this is actually has to the world of education. Yes, you have a particular rather board. We don't need to start addressing this from here. So I would say this view to be uh, not having well educated people that have needed exposure or contribute a quota, but we shouldn't be centralized, but you have to go around the education to that Yes. All right. Um, from your own knowledge, uh, you earlier mentioned that uh, the part of um, the electorate not being able to identify a, a like say, a qualified candidate uh, due to incompetency and all of that. So, from your own perspective. What are some of those qualities that one could actually see and know that this candidate is qualified for the position he is vying for? Uh, when, when you, you when the candidate uh, come to leave uh, uh, the candidate come to move up, vote for him, her, uh, 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 look at that.
Yeah. In, indeed, we uh, we are almost out of time, but more quickly, uh, Inua Garba of uh, Gombe State has said that the bill is discriminatory uh, against uh, some people. Now, a quick question: uh, Do you think this bill will actually come to light? Do you think it will come to be, or it's more like the end of it already? Please, we're out of time. This should be in a minute. Okay. In all fairness, like I said, there are some selfish individuals. Service law members that they know that this bill will not be budgeted. So, from the look of things, this might be the end of that. But they will after the, after the plenary, they go back to their. When they are out of the chamber, they get to court. And from there, they get to court on the court. We are calling for that order. This bill is expected now. Because they know it's not safe for a good number of years. So, for me, I think this bill may not be any time. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Daybreak Africa. Thank you for having me. And also to our viewers, thank you for staying tuned on Daybreak Africa on Captain Television. Although we are not certain or there is no fact backing whether or not the bill is still going to be passed or whether it's actually going to be the end. But we still keep our fingers crossed. However, this is where we'll be drawing the curtain for this episode. And till we come your way again, I am Angela Daku. Of course, do have a wonderful day ahead. I remain in the Okay.